Hello viewers! In this tutorial, we will help you understand and create intercompany STO process without IBD. Let's have a look on all the points that we need to create intercompany stock transfer order process without inbound delivery. Before we get into the details on how to create intercompany STO process without IBD, let's understand what is intercompany stock transfer order with intercompany billing. Intercompany Stock Transfer Order, STO. With intercompany billing, IBD, in SAP, refers to a business process that involves transferring stock from one plant or company code to another within the same organization. It is commonly used in large multinational companies with multiple legal entities or business units. Let's look into each of the flow step for intercompany STO process. Flow steps for intercompany STO with inbound delivery are 1. Create intercompany purchase order 2. Create outbound delivery for purchase order 3. Do pick, pack, and post good issue for outbound delivery from supplying plant 4. Goods received the purchase order 5. Create AR invoice without slash with RD046 Create AP invoice slash AP invoice created by output RD04. Let's get into each of the mentioned flow step in brief in the next slides. To create intercompany purchase order, go to transaction code ME21N and select the document type, which you use for intercompany process. Enter the organizational data and supplying plant information, then click enter. You will be able to enter the materials, the quantity, and the plant for which you want to receive the items. For intercompany purchase order, the shipping tab must be active and the necessary fields filled in. If you are unable to access the tab, then you might face issues with the customer's assignment to the vendor or the maintenance of the shipping data. You cannot carry out the outbound delivery if the shipment tab is not activated and filled. You must deselect GRBIST IV in the Invoice tab if you want the AP invoice to be generated automatically using output RB04. To show the stock movement out of the supplier plant, defined as intercompany vendor here, you would need to generate an outbound delivery referencing the purchase order. Input the purchase document number and click Enter. On the next screen, select the document which you want to deliver and click on Execute. Once you have clicked on Execute, the delivery is created in the background. If you are unable to see the delivery number, change the layout or slash and select the line and hit in more slash show slash hide delivery button. Remember, to create an outbound delivery, the supplying plant must have enough unrestricted stock. You can check this in Transaction MVE. In the Purchase Order, show the stock overview or look at the ATP horizon. This action is to complete the post good issue for the outbound delivery in order to show that the stock has left the supplying plant. Go to transaction code VL02N, enter the delivery number and click enter. On the picking tab, enter the picking quantity and storage location first, then press enter. To check the status of your outbound delivery, go to status overview tab. If picking is completed, click on post goods issue button. You can perform a goods receipt to finish the logistics process once the delivery has been received at the receiving plant. Go to Transaction Code MIGO. From the drop-down list, choose a 01 goods receipt and R01 purchase order and enter the stock transfer order number. All data will be populated automatically. After entering the purchasing order number, select Item OC. Verify the information and press the Post button. The logistics part of the intercompany STO process and the intercompany sales are now complete. The financial postings can be finished by creating payment invoices. Create AR using transaction VF01, enter the delivery number, then hit Execute. Once you execute the system, we'll redirect you to the overview page. To view all the details of AR invoice, double click on the line item. The screen will be displayed as shown here. You can view all the data such as accounting data, price data, taxes data, and more. If you are using output RD04 check if the output was automatically triggered, you can do it by clicking in the output button. 
The status of output RD04 is not processed. After saving the AR invoice, the status should change to successfully processed. To check the output enter transaction VF02 and then go to output header. The status of output RD04 is now processed, as you can see in the screen here. You can choose to create an AP either manually or automatically using output management RD04. To create an AP manually in the transaction Miro, enter the PO number and click enter. Then enter the amount and calculate the tax. Fill in all the other details and click on post. Make sure that he final financial posting has been completed. The flow should be changed for purchase order history, which we will see in the next slide. The flow should be changed as indicated below in the tab purchase order history for the intercompany PO. If output RD04 is being used, saving the AR invoice will automatically trigger the AP invoice. You can check if the AP invoice was posted successfully, go to me 21 n enter your intercompany purchase order number, and go to Purchase Order History tab. There you can see the AP invoice number. Thank you for watching, and we hope you were able to understand and create intercompany STO without IBD and SAP.